our planet can be found in the galaxy known as the Milky Way. A galaxy is a large group of stars, gas and dust bound together by gravity. They can be found everywhere in the universe and they come in different sizes. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is a large proud spiral galaxy. When we look up into the night sky, everything we see is inside the Milky Way. It got this name because it appears as a milky band of light in the night sky when you see it in really dark areas. A mega telescope has recently given us a look at the centre of the Milky Way. The Meerkat radio telescope is behind this photograph, and it's the first time we've seen anything like it. The photograph shows us in detail the red centre, and shows in clear detail the region around the black hole. The telescope in question is a combination of 64 individual dishes, all of which are able to pick up radio waves. The Meerkat telescope is located in South Africa. It's one of the largest and most sensitive radio telescopes in the Southern Hemisphere. The red colours you see in the image shows us just how bright the radio waves are when the telescope picks them up. The colours vary, with red being the faintest emission while the strong emissions are yellow, white and orange. This photograph is a first of its kind as we have never seen anything like this before. This telescope has also given us a clearer view than any other telescopes. We can see remnants of the supernova along with star forming regions. The Milky Way is 25 light years away, and this has made it tough to capture these kind of images. Just to give you an idea of how far away it is, one light year is over 5.8 trillion miles. Another obstacle is that the Milky Way lies behind the Sagittarius constellation, and this means that it's obscured by gas clouds. Previous telescopes have not been able to pick up this much detail. The Meerkat telescope however makes use of X-rays, infrared and radio wavelengths. This gives it an advantage because it can see through the dust, and allows for a unique view. One of the benefits of it being in South Africa is that for 12 hours each day there is a visible view of the Milky Way. Ferdinand Camillo, who is the chief scientist of the South African Radio Astronomy Observatory said the following. We wanted to show the science capabilities of this new instrument. The centre of the galaxy was an obvious target. Unique, visually striking and full of unexplained phenomena, but also notoriously hard to image using radio telescopes. Although it's early days with Meerkat, there is a lot that remains to be optimised. We decided to go for it and were stunned by the results. Scientists have recently discovered 12 new moons that orbit Jupiter. However, the researchers noticed that one of the moons may be heading for a collision course. While hunting for the proposed planet X, an alleged giant planet that could be lurking beyond Pluto, a team of scientists who was led by Scott Shepard discovered the 12 moons orbiting Jupiter. This means that after this discovery, Jupiter now has 79 known orbiting moons. This means that it has more than any other planet in the solar system. The researchers announced that of the 12 moons, 11 of them are normal. However, the 12th moon has been described as an oddball. One of the reasons for the scientists calling it this is because of its unique orbit, and the fact that it's also Jupiter's smallest moon. It's believed to measure less than 0.6 miles or 1 km in diameter. Scott Shepard said the following about the discovery. In the spring of 2017, we were searching for Planet 9 in the region past Pluto, and Jupiter just happened to be in the sky near the search fields where we were looking. This gave the team a unique opportunity to search for new moons around Jupiter, in addition to objects located past Pluto. Of the newly discovered moons, it's been reported that none of them have retrograde orbits. This means they orbit in the opposite direction of the planet spin. It's not just these natural satellites that do this either, in fact, 33 of the outermost moons have retrograde orbits. The discovery has also shown the scientists that two of the newly discovered moons orbit much closer to the planet. This means they orbit in the same direction. It was announced the mysterious oddball moon has a prograde orbit. Prograde or direct motion is motion in the same direction as the primary rotates. However, this moon orbits further from Jupiter than the other moons in the larger prograde group. It also takes around one and a half Earth years to complete its orbit. This moon is also on a serious collision hazard. Due to it orbiting in the opposite direction of the nine new retrograde moons, 
Due to their past, the scientists have said it's likely that one of them will hit the other. Shepard went on to say the following. This is an unstable situation. Head-on collisions would quickly break apart and grind down the objects to dust. It's also thought that some of Jupiter's moons could have formed from collisions like this. It's important for scientists to investigate discoveries like this, as it helps us to better understand our solar system. It was announced on the 3rd of December that a NASA probe had completed its 1.2 billion mile or 2 billion kilometer journey to arrive at the asteroid Bennu. Researchers have now said the probe will begin a survey of the asteroid. The spacecraft will start flyovers of the asteroid's north and south pole. The probe will get close to the asteroid as well. It's been announced it will fly around 4 miles above Bennu during each flyover. This asteroid isn't just a piece of rock floating in space. It's one of our first solar system ancient relics. It's been floating around in space for more than 4.5 billion years. Scientists have said that this rocky body formed within 10 million years of our solar system's formation. Scientists have said that Bennu likely broke off from a much larger carbon-rich asteroid about 700 million to 2 billion years ago. Its original formation was likely in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. The primary goal of this mission are to refine estimates of Bennu's mass and spin rate, and to generate a more specific model of its shape. The data will help determine possible sites for later sample collection. The first measurements have already showed us something incredible. Two spectrometers on board have provided evidence that clay minerals have come into contact with water. Interestingly, the researchers have said the asteroid is too small to have liquid water on it, but they did say that during its lifetime it must have come into contact with water. As mentioned, it's thought that this asteroid was once part of a larger body, and it's thought that larger celestial body most likely had ice on it. This is how this asteroid most likely encountered water. Another thing researchers have said is that this asteroid crosses the Earth's orbit on a regular basis, and could be a problem for our planet in the future. Scientists have said there could be a potential impact around 2135. It's said that if an asteroid of this size was to hit the planet, it would have consequences. The asteroid itself is over 500 meters wide, and although this isn't as big as the asteroid that caused the KT event, it would still cause a lot of damage. However, by then we could have technology that could help us prevent events like this. Radar imaging has not revealed any satellites orbiting Bennu, but small objects up to 20 meters wide may be present, but undetected. 2018 was an exciting time for space. New missions were launched and it was announced that we could be returning to the moon by 2024. One thing that confuses even the most intelligent people is the universe. For many years, we have looked up to the stars and wondered what is out there. Recently, it was announced that Professor Sir Roger Penrose thinks our known cosmos is the latest in a long line of previous universes. The former colleague of the late Professor Stephen Hawking has given an insight into what the universe was like before the Big Bang. According to Sir Penrose of the University of Oxford, our current universe still shows signs of our universe's predecessor, and it's thought this universe vanished around 14 billion years ago. He goes on to say that our universe is one of many universes, and each have respawned from its predecessor in a big bang. As you can imagine though, not everyone has jumped on the idea. The theory has received its fair share of criticism. The stars and planets you see in the night sky are believed to have come from a massive reaction. This theory is known as the big bang, and to date it's the most accepted theory for how our universe was born. Recently, there have been some interesting discoveries in space. It was announced by NASA that their probe studying Saturn has picked up some mysterious sounds. This has led some people to suggest the space agency may well have captured the sounds of aliens communicating with one another. NASA's Cassini mission was the most comprehensive study of Saturn and its numerous moons in history. This was a joint endeavor of NASA, the European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency. Cassini is a robotic spacecraft orbiting the ring planet and studying the system in detail. In late 2016, the Cassini spacecraft began a daring set of orbits called the Grand Finale, which will be in some ways like a whole new mission. The spacecraft will repeatedly climb high above Saturn's poles, 
flying just outside its narrow F-ring 20 times. According to the space agency, in the course of their observations of the ring planet, scientists picked up on a number of radio waves. After NASA discovered dozens of these radio waves back in 2004, they admitted themselves to be rather confused by the noises and wrote a note saying, a most intriguing file. We do not know what to make of it. This prompted some amateur cosmologists to suggest these radio waves may be recordings of aliens attempting to communicate with one another. If this is the case, this could change the way we view our universe. Astronomy is the study of objects such as stars, planets, comets and galaxies and things that can be found outside of the Earth's atmosphere. This isn't something that's new either. For thousands of years, our ancestors looked to the stars and wondered what could be out there. One famous location that's been linked to astronomy is the famous Stonehenge. Stonehenge has proven to be quite a mystery to anyone who even attempts to try to understand its construction and techniques behind it. Not only are the large blocks used massive that even modern means of construction would fail in regards to establishing the Stonehenge, but the source of the blocks appears to have been carved from hundreds of miles away, which led many researchers to question the ability of transporting such large stones to the area. However, regardless of these theories, it's believed that one of the purposes of the stones was to identify the first day of summer. These ancient astronomers would have used the stones to determine where the sun would be rising. Incredibly, the people of that time built the structure with astonishing precision. Even to this day, the complex calendar can keep track of time to an incredibly mysterious accurate degree. The Great Pyramids of Giza are often reported as one of the greatest wonders of the world, and with this title hold an air of mysterious and oddity. How were these megalithic structures constructed? For what purpose and to what end? Archaeologists and Egyptologists from around the world have devoted their lives to study these kind of structures, but still cannot seem to crack exactly how they were built. Researchers have shown that the ancient Egyptians were advanced when it came to astronomy. Many Egyptian buildings were built of an astronomical orientation. Some of the buildings that you see today including the pyramids were created in relation to the stars, zodiac and constellations. Incredibly, they were able to line up certain buildings to the stars they could see in the night sky. Another thing they were capable of doing was constructing a building that during one precise time of the year had sunlight enter a specific room. You can even find astronomical drawings in Ramsey's chamber. By this point, the ancient Egyptians had been studying astronomy for years. They were able to create a calendar that was able to predict the annual flooding of the Nile. It's no wonder that some people believe the ancient Egyptians were advanced for their time. So what do you guys make of these ancient civilizations? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.